Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to block ads in Firefox for iOS. So, learn how to block ads in Mozilla Firefox for your Apple device. So, let's get into it. Alright, so here we are in the App Store. And as some of you know, Firefox has two browsers available for download in the App Store. As you can see, Firefox, the normal version, and they also have Firefox Focus, which is a privacy browser as well, but you can automatically block ads and other web trackers, which is great. So it has a built-in ad blocker, and that's great. But for those of you that like to use a normal Firefox browser with potentially more features, as you can see, this is only 18 megabytes, which is great. Like it says, Firefox Focus, it's straight to the point. But Firefox is normal browsers, also privacy-oriented and it's 69.6 .6 megabytes. So you'll likely get more features and better looks. So the reason I'm saying this is because not all of you will wanna use Firefox Focus. It's a great browser, but some of you may want this one, but you still may want ads blocked in it. So that's fine. There's a way to block ads and I'll be showing you how, but anyway, what you wanna do is just open up Firefox and I'll be showing and proving that I don't have an ad blocker on. And so you can see what it's like before I turn the ad blocker on. As you can see, I'm on 9to5mac.com. There is an ad up there, ad right there, ad right there. So the point is, there's ads. So what you want to do then is go to the App Store again, search for Lockdown Privacy. This app is an app that blocks trackers, miners, ads, and more in multiple apps. So you can use this in Firefox. You can use it for news apps, games, etc. It will block ads and more. So it's a great app that you can use for multiple purposes. Lockdown Privacy, download it. And once you have it installed, open it up. And here you'll see likely a tutorial, but if not, what you want to do is go to block list. In the firewall section, you don't have to worry about secure tunnel, that's a paid feature and it adds privacy and stuff like that. But you don't have to worry about that for ad blocking and tracker blocking, etc. So the firewall is free. Click that block list and turn on whatever you want to block. Clickbait, crypto mining, etc., etc. But make sure you get general marketing, game marketing, and whatever marketing there is. Push save, turn the firewall on, and then go back to your Firefox browser and close it completely. It needs to be refreshed or reopened for the changes to go into effect. So now we'll go to 9to5Mac. And as you can see, there's no more ads at the top. There's no more ads in the midst of the website. So this proves this does really work. Like I said, like I've said in many of my other videos, this will have exceptions. It won't block every ad in every case, such as on streaming websites, apps, etc. It may not block sponsored social media posts, etc. But this does block ads as you've just seen. It does work and it is helpful. I would recommend it. But anyway, guys, as you saw, there are two methods to block ads. If you like Firefox, you can use the main Firefox browser, like I just did, and install that Lockdown app, which blocks ads, or you can get the Firefox Focus, a slimmed down version with built-in ad blocking. But anyway, guys, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like it and comment a question that you think I'd be able to answer, and subscribe if you found this helpful, it'd mean a lot. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching and enjoy.